Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Kaval Mehta. And today we will try to understand how to use explained predictions operator, which is there in rapid minor for linear regression analysis. Basically, we use regression analysis when we are having one dependent variable and many independent variable. Moreover, it is necessary that the dependent and independent variables be running in the continuous scale. By continuous, I mean to say that the example is weight and blood pressure. The basic assumption here is that the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable is linear. How we can do this in rapid minor? Let's see. First of all, I'll bring my data file empty cup. I'll drag it and drop it here. I'll connect this line with the result window. When I'll press the play button, you will get the model of the car, the mileage, the miles per gallon, number of cylinders of the car, the displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, D rate, displacement rate of the vehicle, weight of the vehicle, Q sec, vertical or the straight engine, automatic or manual, number of gears, and number of carburetors. Now I'll again go in design, I'll disconnect this line and in this operator, there are many variables, but it is not necessary in my model. All these variables are a matter of my interest. So what I'll do, I'll select the attribute operator. I'll drag it and drop it here. I'll connect with this. I'll make this operator on. I'll go in the subsetting data, select the attributes, and I'll select the attributes like mileage, miles per gallon, weight, horsepower. Kindly refer to my previous videos for linear regression analysis so that you can understand the flow of the lecture. Apply. Now, I'll have to specify which is my dependent variable and which is my independent variable. So set the rule, drag it and drop it. miles per gallon label. Make sure that the target rule is specified as label, then only the regression analysis will run. Now, whatever this data is, I want to split it into the training and testing data set. So I'll use split data. I'll keep it here, split the data. Now this set the rule will enter into the split data. When I double click on it, it will ask me that you want to divide the data into what proportion. So I'll specify 0.7. That is a 70% training data set and 0.3 is a testing data set. So training is 70, testing is 30. Now I'll use multiply operator. And I'll drop it here. I'll use it two times. This will enter into this, and this it will enter into this. Right click on it and rename this operator as training. Basically, it will generate the same output, but it will tell me that this is a training data and this is a testing data. When I'll connect this spline, you will come to know what it generates. So see, this is a training data set and this is a testing data set. And that's the reason we use multiply operator. Again, come back to the design. Disconnect this line, disconnect this line. Now activate the linear regression. Drag it and drop it here. Connect this with the training data, then apply the model. You will have to use this apply model operator two times, one here, second here. Then there is an operator which is known as explain the prediction.
Now there are a series of connections which we have to do. Let us see one by one. Model is connected with the model. Example is connected with unlib. Now from training, you will take out one operator and it will enter into the training data. So you can see here it is giving the training. Enter the TRA, training data. And from testing, it will enter into testing. Is it clear? Now from this model, it will enter into this model and from this model, it will enter into this model. Yeah. Now, unlabel is still left out. So the testing will go into the unlabeled. Now, we will have to activate the performance. Make sure performance of regression is activated. You will select it two times, one and two. Transfer label to label. And here also, label to label. Make sure that now a performance is connected with the performance, performance is connected with the performance. And this one, the visual output is also connected here. Right? Visual output is connected here. Right? Now run it. It gives output with the color settings. It means that all the variables which are significant have a color code. If it is very dark color, this means that this variable is highly significant and this moderately significant. So this is explained predictions. Moreover, the color code runs in row wise also. So if any outlier is there, then also it will identify that this is an outlier. So basically, it is an explaining the prediction which variable is significant, which variable is insignificant. Let us try to introduce any insignificant variable and see the results. I'll go in design, select the attributes, and this time I will enter carburetor and let's see what happens. Run it. You can see here the carburetor is insignificant and its color code is, is not so red and therefore it is completely insignificant variable. So this is a way you can use a performance or uh, rather explain predictions operator, very nice operator which is there in Rapid Miner. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist for previous videos on Rapid Miner.